Hey Shooby Doodlers, a month has gone by and I have a new scroller box. And let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, this is exciting. What is scroller box? Well, you subscribe and they send you exciting art stuff each month. And this month I've got this Koi watercolors and what have we got inside here? Ooh. Ooh. Open it up. We have uh, a softy fruit juice chew <laughs> and a scroller box sticker. Koinor Hardmouth 1505B. Ooh. This is a Koinor graphite pencil. Quality soft lead pencil is ideal for drawing and initially sketching out your design before adding colour. Great choice for the high opacity, light fastness, clean erasing and strong durable graphite. I was in Chesky Krumlov in the Czech Republic last month. Very close to where they're made. And what have we got here? This is a Daedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Uh, this high quality fine liner is super fine and metal encased tip with an ergonomic triangular barrel for effortless and fatigue free drawing. It is also cleverly dry safe, which means it can be left uncut for several days without drying up. Will it splodge when I put watercolour on it? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> and here we have a Koinor Hardmouth Paint Fun. It's a fibre brush pen. These simple water based fibre tip brush pens. I'm in a selection of vibrant colours and have long soft tips for easy application. Great for adding bolder marks and textured strokes to your work. And what about the Koi Watercolours Sketch Travel Kit? This watercolour set is the perfect creative travel companion. It's lightweight, contains 12 quality pan watercolour paints which are easily blended into an endless range of colours. It's also a refillable water brush to store water while on the road. The perfect pocket size set for painting on the go. I think you see me using water brushes, but this means then you can pack it all away. Oh, that's very interesting. So it's a tiny little brush, and then that will fit on the end, which will give you that extra bit of sort of feeling to hold on the end. And these are... Now, I think, you know, I've mentioned before, I don't like white and I don't like black, <laughs> but never mind. We will see what we can do. I can't even see where it undoes. I can't open it up. Now, what else have we got? We have got Botanical Ultra Smooth Watercolour Paper. The Botanical Ultra Smooth 300 grams per square inch paper is cylinder mold made. 50% cotton acid free and specifically designed for watercolours. You get a couple of sample sheets to try out with your new supplies. I wonder which side. <laughs> and here we have an illustration. Featured artist Liz Lapointe. Liz Lapointe. I'm an animator, illustrator living in Canada. I've drawn all my life and in college I studied animation. We'll have to put a link to Liz's YouTube channel just up here. Now every month with your scroller box, you'll get a scroller challenge. This theme is escape. And immediately I think about this little sketch I did about a week ago. And this little girl Clementine was escaping. She saw the door and ran for it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do a version of that and try out these materials. So I'm going to start basically with Clementine's hair. She had a little bobble kind of thing like that and her hair was coming out of <laughs> in kind of mad craziness and then she just saw the door and went for it and she was, wasn't very old so we want just little hands. She had quite a baggy kind of jumper on and a t-shirt sticking out underneath she had amazing shoes on actually they were I'm not quite sure what brand they were but they had lots of little pictures all over them now I've had a little play with the uh, set here now, this is a water brush so I filled the barrel up with water and like I said it screws the other way to normal okay it's a bit weird and uh, we can stick the barrel on the back there and I'm gonna to want to mix up something kind of yellowy red and I'm just going to kind of whoosh that in there. I've had a little play with this brush. Actually, I quite like it. It's um, it's very responsive. It's quite soft. Um, water brushes come in all sorts of different sort of si sizes and styles and thicknesses, but these hairs are actually really soft and responsive. Now, with a water brush, you'll also want to have a tissue next to you. And as you, you just kind of give the barrel a little squeeze, it 
cleans the brush. <laughs> That's why I love the water brushes so much. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue into that to put a bit of sort of shadow underneath there. Do some of this kind of yellowy, ochre -y kind of colour, and I want that quite thin. So I'm going to just kind of put some colour into there. And I'm going to put that kind of colour into her hands as well. But I'm going to very quickly just drop a bit of, oh, too much, <laughs> a bit of vermilion in there as well. Now I'm going to use that as kind of shadow on her trousers or pants, as you might call them. Pants are what you wear underneath your trousers if you're here in England. So if you're American and you come to England and you start talking about pants, everyone will wonder what you're talking about. Now I want a little bit of kind of blue there. There was kind of a picture on her trousers, on her shoes rather. And we want some kind of green there that was kind of like the grass. And then there was sort of something going on there as well. And we want a kind of a yellowy sole. And we put a bit of red on, that's the scrunchie that hold, holding her sort of pony pigtail. It's kind of a messy pigtail, but it is a pigtail. Ponytail kind of thing sticking out there. And then we're going to kind of want a kind of wild pattern all over her trousers, pants. <laughs> I always have this trouble on YouTube, which is very international. I've got a very big American audience. And uh, I say pants. <laughs> no, I say trousers, you say pants. <laughs> You say tomato, I say tomato. And uh, so you want a t-shirt sticking out there as well. It's a very responsive kind of calligraphic brush actually this one. So I feel I can just add a little bit more into it with the with the brush. In fact, I'm gonna use the Tri Plus Fine Liner, which also I have tested to see if it's waterproof, it's not. Anyway, I'm going to do this because it's using up all the materials in the box. Well, I'm not using everything in the box, but I'm using quite a lot of the things in the box. Well, I'm going to use a sort of a dark purpley kind of colour in there. And we're getting a really nice point on this brush, which means you can really fill in those tiny details. Two tiny criticisms of the brush. <laughs> One is the barrel could be longer, but then it wouldn't fit in the case. The lid doesn't quite stay on terribly nicely. If it was firmer, it would feel like a longer barrel and you feel more comfortable in your hand but you can't have everything uh, but I do love the uh, the sensitivity of the brush it's a really really nice one there we go all the links are down below well that was fun I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully Scrawlerbox will send me another box next month and we'll see what we can do with it then thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my patreon page click to find out more Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.